Hare Krishna. One devotee was sharing, No dham, no naam. If we are not in dham, we cannot chant the holy names of the Lord. We cannot chant the naam. And therefore we see, so many different great stalwarts, great sadhus, they shift to dham and they chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. And just shifting to dham or staying in dham and chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra will reap a lot of benefit, a lot of benefit, a lot of spiritual benefit. And the devotee can advance very, very fast in Krishna consciousness. But for those people like us who are staying in the cities for the purpose of preaching or any other services, what are we supposed to do then? We also have to stay in Dham if we really want to perfect our life. One thing which Shastras say is physically staying in Dham, yes, that is ultimate, really amazing. But even mentally, if someone can reside in Dham, that is also considered glorious. That is also very much equivalent to staying in Dham physically. The person will get the same merit, same benefit. So now how to mentally stay in dham? Especially before chanting, we can do these activities. Because the mind is just wandering here and there on various material subject matters. And this is the best way in which we can pull our mind on the Maha Mantra, on the spiritual subject matter. So we can always, before chanting, close our eyes. And we can try to visit different places, say in Sri Vrindavan Dham. So we go to Vrindakund and take blessings of Vrinda Devi Tulsi Maharani. And then we can go to Radha Kund Sham Kund. We can pay obeisance to Radha Kund Sham Kund. We can offer prayers to Giriraj. Namaste Girirajaya Govardhana Namine Ashesh Klesha Nashaya Paramananda Daine. We can go to Jamuna. We can pay our obeisance to Jamuna. And then various different places of Vrindavan. From Vrindavan, we can immediately go to Navadvip. And there we can take Darshan of Jogopit, where Lord Chaitanya appeared. And from there we can go to Srivas Angan, where Lord Chaitanya would perform his pastimes. We can take Darshan of Adbhut Mandir, take Darshan of Ganga, and various other wonderful places in Navadvip. And from Navadvip, we can go immediately to Jagannath Puri. And there we can go to Gambhira. The Lord Chaitanya spent his 18 years towards the fag end or the later pastimes, the Antya Leela. We can go to Tota Gopinath. We can take darshan of Jagannath Baldev Subhadra Sudarshan. Siddha Bakul, where Haridas Thakur chanted. The Mahasamudra, where the log of wood came floating for Jagannath. So in this way, we can visit these three holy places. Obviously, we will not keep doing this for two hours. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it has to be just for a few minutes. But just by meditating on all these places and offering appropriate prayers in those places, mentally, is all mental, manasik. The devotee, firstly, on the mental platform or the gross platform, devotee can pull the mind on spiritual subject matter. And secondly, the devotee gets the benefit of visiting all these holy places and mentally residing in the holy place. And for us, as devotees, these three places are very important. Shri Vrindavan Dham, Shri Mayapur Dham, and Jagannath Puri Dham. So, if we have visited these three places, then we can always remember these different pastime places. If we have not visited, no issues. Now we have uh, internet, we can search for various photos and see how it looks and just meditate on it. And immense benefit is waiting ahead for us. Therefore, before starting every round or before starting to chant our rounds, we can meditate on these holy places, beg from all these different holy places, blessings, so that we can chant very nicely, chant very effectively and make our life successful. With this mood and this meditation, let's begin our chanting. Hare Krishna.